radar cost still a little bit showing up on radar, just not very much. In fact, most of the drizzle and mist on radar is very hard to see. You don't really pick that up very well on radar. You see a little bit there just to the north of Birmingham and towards east of Birmingham, towards Anniston and Gaston. Most of that is very light on the radar. Most of that is very light if you are outdoors. Here's your forecast again. Uh, for this evening and tonight 63 at 7 o'clock 10 o'clock pretty much same deal cloudy skies and the chance for some fog overnight wind calm dew point temperatures to the low 60s so once we reach that dew point fog will become widespread across the parts of Alabama so be careful on those roadways late tonight no fog in Tuscaloosa just yet we are looking live off towards the northwest uh, current temperature back in those upper 60s high today 70 and uh, the low last night of a 64, not very much rain in Tuscaloosa since midnight last night. Only about a 700 of an inch of rain out of the Tuscaloosa airport. Cloudy skies pretty much everywhere. And Haleyville observation is broken. Obviously there they did not top out at 54 today and they are not clear over in Winston County. But across the area, we got lots of cloud cover in place. A little bit of drizzle and mist. There's all the heavy rain, by the way, moving into Georgia now. And out towards the Carolinas had some severe weather over parts of South Georgia. Much of the day still that tornado watch in uh, southern Georgia, but around here no severe weather in the forecast over the next several days. And that is good news. Check it out in terms of our weather checkers. Rain totals of Dayton and Marengo County 2.50, Akron 2.60, Foster's 1.51 at Tuscaloosa uh, reporting only about 1.31 coaling. Uh, all, over three inches of rain there, so some areas getting a lot of rain. Most everybody getting good beneficial rain. Winfield uh, just under two inches officially. Lake Tuscaloosa, Holt Lake almost an inch and a half. And again, everybody getting a beneficial rain. No flooding across our part of the state, which was good. Had some flooding issues over South Alabama. Sylacauga 2.12 officially in the bucket over there in a parts of Talladega County. Forecast model, what's going to happen next? Mostly cloudy through tonight during the day. Tomorrow, lots of cloud cover sticking around and a small chance for shower or two on Tuesday, even on Wednesday, but the risk of rain is going to be small. will be humid though this this week and towards the weekend. In fact, over the next uh, several days, no major uh, changes really talk about until we get to the day on Friday. Shower storms becoming more likely during the day on Friday. In fact, we're talking about a good chance of rain later in that day and into the first part of the weekend. 61 tonight, cloudy fog and drizzle going to be likely overnight. Tomorrow we'll top out again in those mid 70s. Very warm for this time of year. Mostly cloudy. We'll call it mild tomorrow and again. Will stay mild through Wednesday and Thursday. So we've got plants outdoors. It will be warm. Temperatures tonight back in those 60s, mild and muggy. Friday, good chance for rain and a few thunderstorms. Some of those could be rather strong. Going to watch that very carefully. But Saturday, some showers, especially early in the day. A little bit cooler over the weekend.